Previously on Drake Paragon. What a find it was yesterday when we got all that wood out of there. So I haven't enjoyed sailing that much in years. I really enjoy cruising Leia Leia's videos. I could like live in here. <laughs> all the sailing books here. Dan Brown's Angel and Demons book. May they go down to the sea in ships. I wish I had found this place when I was a teenager. But God, the summer sailing and the winter skiing. I'll be heading north, um, uh, trying to get the boat up to uh, Rhode Island by um, November, early November. I want to vote, I want to play in a soccer tournament, so I want to get the boat up there early November, or yep. before November. Um, then I'm going to put the boat on the hard and um, go skiing for the winter. I'm going to move out to Bozeman and buy, uh, or rent a really cheap it's a college town, so I'm pretty sure I can get a room pretty cheap and oh. just ski. I, I've been wanting. That's like one of those other things. That's always I've always wanted to do. Uh, spend a winter in the mountains, and um, I think I'm now in the right position to do it. Yep. So I'm gonna go do it, and um, and then and keep working. Yep. Um, and then come back to the boat sometime in the early spring. Uh, do a bunch of work on her, yep. um, and take her out to um, Nova Scotia for the summer. You're planning on spending the summer in Nova Scotia? Nova Scotia and probably the coast of Maine as wow. well. Um, yeah, wow. I, love, I was just up there and I, I love the coast of Maine. It's beautiful. Yeah, really So is beautiful. Nova Scotia. So. Wow, look at those waves off the stern. Behind us, you can see them following us. What's the wind like? Uh, it's blowing 20 knots, gusting to 30, and we're in the dinghy rowing. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we'd stay on the boat during this, but according to the weather report, the small craft advisory is only in effect until 5 o'clock this evening. And we are rowing directly downwind. I don't know if I can do it. Nothing under 20 knots and gusting up to 27. 27. Are we still on course for the dinghy dock? Yeah, that way. Okay. Normally we'd stay, stay on the boat during this kind of thing, but we've got this opportunity to meet Ben Stuckey. <laughs> if you don't know who Ben Stuckey is, check out his interview. He's a really amazing guy. Just got back from skiing in Montana for the season. Just got back from a whole winter of skiing in Montana, yeah? Sounds now awesome. Now he's back to his boating life. He spent the morning sanding bottom paint. On oh, Swallow? Oh, for his boat Swallow. Oh, we're like surfing in the dinghy. <laughs> Keep right. your eye on the prize. Keep it together. You're right. going over there. Waves. It's that way. Beautiful. What's the name? White Hawk. She's pretty. She looks old and traditional and yet she's modern with electric roller twirl or head sails. It'd take forever to roll into this. I don't think you this. could. You couldn't. The waves and the wind are going in the same direction and I don't think that you could row against so this. So if we lane. needed to do this, Rather than go out into the open water of the harbor where the waves are biggest, we'd row along the shore like forever until we get to the other side. The 
foot for hire water taxi at five dollars a person. Nine noon and four. Nine noon and four, three times a day. Oh. Four o'clock would be too late. I mean, too early. We wouldn't be able to get. Yeah, that. I think it's because it's so early. In the <laughs> I just saw like three waves come together behind you. Ah, oh, shit. So this is where we're going to go tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Is this a turn? No, the next one. What? The next one. Okay. No one's sitting out at the deck of our little restaurant today. <laughs> Nobody's out doing anything today. As soon as we get around this building, it'll calm down, I think. Yeah. I sure hope we can get back. <laughs> Have what? you ever not been able to get back to your boat? No. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Wow. How about I drop you off here? Go meet Ben. I'm really glad we didn't push off this morning like we were planning to. Yeah, that would not have been. We fun. definitely would have gotten beat up in buses today in this way. Yeah. I think. I didn't smoke it. There's something I love about it. It's like, this is all countryside, and all countryside in this river, and then this is just old, old town. Really old nice. town. Nice. Um, and, and you can anchor, maybe. And I think you can anchor um, either up in here, and you can definitely anchor up there, but that's too far, and then I think there's anchorage just in there. I didn't think you could anchor anywhere in England. What is Active Captain? Ooh, mm -hmm. have you never used Active Captain? No. no. Oh, these guys are awesome. All right, so. I'm gonna zo start zooming in. You can pull up like nautical charts or satellite or whatever you, you want to look at, but I'm gonna come in here to film it. It looks fairly protected too, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's a great little harbor. Green is anchorages. Wow. Red are marinas. And blue is like, I think, just like points on land. So like boat really? ramps and things like that. And then yellow is alerts or, you know, like warnings of some sort. So, oh, uh, only available if you're logged in. So I gotta, okay. I have to log in. Wow. It's worth getting an account. I mean, it's free. It's really? Free. Active Captain. ActiveCaptain.com. Yeah, it's great. Every passage I plan. Really? I use it, yeah. yeah. Every time I, because I'll pick up, you can list the anchorages. Yeah. They're all rated and I... I rate anchorages wherever I go. Wow. In some ways, it sounds like it replaces a cruising guide book. Oh, yeah. 
If you have internet. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> How was Montana? I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know if you guys talked about this already. Yeah, we did. The best winter of my entire life. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Everything I wanted. Snow? Deep. All every like everywhere. <laughs> it was amazing. I was backcountry skiing sort of two or three days a week and I'd ski the resort when it snowed. Yeah. And we just I mean I I skied more than I've ever like I just it was perfect. It was everything nice. I wanted. Everything I wanted. Nice. Um, Although it took me a while to get fit because I spent like what a year and a half on the boat and I was, right. I was feeling weak and I got yeah. out there and I was like hiking up mountains. I was just like <laughs> your legs like <laughs> yeah my legs were jello <laughs> but by the end I was you know just hiking up just like it was you know a, for fun right. and uh, I was ski all the time so yeah it was the best winter of my life did exactly what I wanted no nice. boat to do lists where did you live uh. I lived in downtown Bozeman, which is like a college town, so it's a really cool... Did you find a, a roommate situation? Or yeah, I roomed with... Uh, when I first got there, I had two uh, dude roommates. One was a great skier, and so we skied all the time together. The other guy had just gotten back from a trip from Argentina to Alaska and back via motorcycle. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, the girl whose apartment it was, she was like renting it out to us while she was in Peru. So she read, she came back. It was just perfect situation. Yeah. Everybody yeah. I lived with was awesome. Everybody I met was awesome. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. When you went skiing every day, did you usually go by yourself or with a group? If I was inbound at the resort, I'd go yeah. by myself. But yeah. uh, if I was going back, well, country, I'd never. Take like Betty. No. Yeah. Right. Take like Betty and a beacon. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Me out. Why were you, you were going like it would have yeah. been dangerous to exactly. go by yourself? Exactly. Yeah. So you take an avalanche beacon and a shovel <laughs> and a probe. That way, I mean, I, we never skied in terrain that was going to be, it was sliding, you know, I'd dig a pit and you can test the snow and wow. make sure you're not going to, you know, get caught in an avalanche, but even so, it's worth having someone along. And now you come back and you're on your boat, you're about to sail at the Maine in Canada and it's full time while maintaining your full time job. How's, yeah. How's that been going? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been, this was one of the most productive winters I've had too. Because, really? Like really? I said, I didn't have a lot going on. You know, it's like yeah. ski, work. Work. I didn't have, you know, a to-do list for the boat. Yeah. I didn't have other distractions. I didn't have things I needed to do, people I needed to see. I just was there to, for one thing and one thing only. Wow. So I, I'd spend, you know, if there, there wasn't snow, I'd just spend the day working. So I actually had several... 12, 13 hour days of work. When yeah. I, if I wasn't skiing that day, I'd work overtime. And if I skied that day, I'd feel bad, sort of. So I'd work harder that evening. I tended to do four hours in the middle of the day. Yeah. I would work and then ski for four hours and then come back and do about four hours wow. during a week. A week. That's nice. And I really wanted to like work at the lodge, but they don't have Wi Fi. Oh, no. Yeah, they don't even have cell service on the mountain. It's oh, sort yeah. of out there. Yeah, after a while I missed the boat and I'd start getting excited about coming back and planning and things. Yeah. So it's, it means that I mean, you know, I'm hopefully going to have a good year this year and I'm supposed to be here doing this. How long ago did you get back? Monday. So I'm, I'm doing the filming thing a little bit. I bought a GoPro like a couple yeah, days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to do time lapse. I don't yeah. know. I have this thing that I just love seeing things change. Mm -hmm. So uh, I sanded the paint, because I have to repaint it, right? Oh, so yeah. I sanded the starboard side of all yeah. the, uh, the bottom paint yeah. and sort of had a time lapse going. But I got there right before dawn, so you can see the sun oh, rise. And, the sun come and then I, I start sanding like right before dawn, and, and I'm done by 7, and then I went back to work. Follow you guys. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the coast of Maine. I'm gonna go yep. all the way up to Bar Harbor, probably maybe even further. Um, we'll see, and then go across from there. September and October in Nova Scotia. Yeah. August, September, and October. If I can get all the way around, I will. In two months, uh, that would be like not a lot of time, but maybe I could just do like long passages. Unfortunately, the other thing is I am working full time. You like need to have access to the internet at least 40 hours a week kind of thing. You got it. Yeah. Although I'm going to try and take two weeks off in September.
September maybe. And if I have two weeks, then I can probably, two weeks can get me a long way if the weather holds. It's right around when we're going to be pushing up from Iceland sometime in yeah. September. <laughs> and, and we hope to land in Kinsale, Ireland by September 15th. Wow. Yeah, so if you want to, like, you know, just, like, fly over to Iceland yeah, and, and help us off. sail to Ireland. <laughs> You're like, oh, that two weeks is perfect. Yeah, two weeks is perfect. That works for us. Um, that would be a fun trip, huh? Wouldn't it? It might make sense to stop in Faro to break it up so we can mm -hmm. rest. I probably can't get a chart for it. How about the southern tip of Greenland? We're really looking forward to going through this fjord that goes from the southwestern tip to the eastern tip. Yeah. No. It goes through it, huh? Yeah, it goes yeah. right through. Oh, yeah, yeah right, right there. in That's through right. here and out through there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boom. And so yeah. you miss all this tumultuous, crazy current weather stuff that... that yeah, all shipping there. needs to stay at least 100 nautical miles away from the southern uh, southern coast, the Sometimes southern tip, because this is all like... Except you're going to go in there. No, no, no. Well, it's down. It's down here. We're we're gonna come along here and then come out there. So it's like okay. all right down in yeah, here. So this a current, hundred, hundred nautical miles right with around that here. Current. And then it's when like, you come out here, where do you? Straight to that Reykjavik. Way. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. And uh, this this whole southeastern coast is just covered with ice. Yeah. Right really? now, it's solid ice. There are like thirty individual little charts just going down here that we can get that mm. just go up into all the, and I'm like, what do we get? Yeah, all right, you're just gonna, maybe you just pick one. You're like, we're gonna explore this yeah, one. Yeah, 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 Or get five, <laughs> and then you just play poker for it or something. I mean, we have the electronic charts, so the paper are really back up. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully they'll, you know, like that you just go in there and you say, hey, we got the, we got the electronic chart for this, let's go in there. Yeah. Um, and if you don't, you're like, well, we've got these five. <laughs> That's true. We can explore one of them. That's a great way to think about it. I like um, that. Would you take Swallow across the Atlantic? Swallow can never do that. <laughs> she's like, don't make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's interesting. She's very well built. The hull's great, but that rig, just having, yeah, we talked about this, yeah, such a large boom. Water. Yeah, if it can touch the water. Not in this storm. No, nope. no. Nope. So I'll find yeah. another boat. You will. That's yeah. in the plan it, well, eventually. Yeah, eventually if I decide I want to go over there or live over there, I'll get another boat. Maybe, you know. Yeah, who knows. There's some beautiful boats for sale. There always are. <laughs> There's some ridiculously okay. nice boats. After another summer, fall of sailing, <laughs> you're going to find a place to ski all winter again? Yes. I'm going to do it in Montana. I put all my stuff in storage there. Oh, the storage God. unit. I, I basically just committed. I said, I'm doing it. Bought like a like an old truck. I there. love Did that. You see oh, that so you bought a car. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> International awesome. Scout. Oh my god, <laughs> that is just like, hi, this is my official membership to the ski bomb club. Yeah, oh. exactly. And here's the car to go with it. Yeah, yeah. And you left it in Montana. Uh, it's yeah, still yours. it's in a storage unit. And oh. It's still mine. Cool. I mean, I'm going back. Otherwise, I'm paying a pretty heavy storage bill yeah. if I'm gonna just leave all yeah. my stuff there forever. Wow. <laughs> but. God, the summer sailing and the winter skiing. It's just fantastic. Thank God. What, what, what a way to do it.